Hi, hello everyone. It's me again, Mama Riel, and welcome to my channel. So for this video, we are going to discuss all about the gem dust rule. As you can see, we have here the gem dust, which is um, it means grouping symbols, the G, E for exponent, M for multiplication, D for division, A for addition, S for subtraction. I'm going to teach you on how to use it in solving an ordered of operations. As you can see in example number 1, sobrang dami niya, no? Sobrang daming operations like merong minus, merong plus, merong division, merong multiplication. And, paano ba natin masasolve yung ganitong klaseng um, mga expression using, of course, the gem dust rule. So, ito yung aaralin natin. So, for this first step, when you see an expression like this, sobrang dami, nakakalula, but then again, madali lang siyang isolve as long as alam nyo yung rule, which is the gem dust rule. So, the first one, we have the grouping symbols involving the parentheses or brackets. So, when you see um, a parentheses or a bracket in an expression, yun yung uunahin natin. Followed by the exponent involving the powers and square roots. And then, followed by multiplication and division. And it doesn't matter if nauna si multiplication or division, basta left to right tayo. For example, nakita natin na nauna si division. So, first natin siyang i-perform kaysa kay multiplication. Pero, hindi sila pwedeng mahuli kay addition and subtraction. Palagi silang una sa addition and subtraction. Later on, mas marirealize natin yan, okay? So, for the last, we have the addition and subtraction. Left to right again. Kung baga ay first come, first serve. Like, for example, nauna doon si subtraction. E di, magsusubtract tayo before we add. Ganun lang siya kasimple. Take a look at this first example. Remember, we have the gem dust rule and gagamit tayo ng rule na yon kung paano natin masasolve ito and paano natin makukuha yung tamang sagot. Ano? And, ito, pwede mo siyang gamitin ng calculator pero hindi siya advisable kasi... Um, sa calculator, kapag hindi mo isinali yung parenthesis, mali yung sagot. And, kailangan, ang ituturo natin ngayon is yung manual or manong-manong pagsasolve using that rule. So, we are not allowed to use calculator in this. Alright? So, like, for example, we have 36 minus 2 times, remember, ang brackets is a sign of multiplication. 20 plus 12 divided by 4 times 3 minus 2 times 2 plus 10. Okay? So, remember the gem dust rule. The first step is to operate the grouping symbols, the G. Okay? Next is the exponent. Next is the multiplication. Next is the division, followed by addition, followed by subtraction. Remember, si multiplication and division, magka-partner sila. So, left to right yung um, order of operations na gagamitin natin doon. Maalin sa kanila, pwedeng DM or MD. Followed by addition and subtraction, left to right again. Kapag nauna si subtraction, mag magsusubtract mo na before you add. Alright? Like for example, we have 36 minus 2. And sa gem dust rule, sabi diba, unahin daw natin ang merong grouping. So as you can see in this expression, ayan, nakita nyo, meron tayong parenthesis. So right after that, na-identify nyo na kung ano ba yung dapat yung unahin. Siyempre, ibaba nyo muna yung mga hindi nyo unahin. Like, 36 minus 2, ibaba muna natin yan. So, we have 20 plus 12 divided by 4 times 3 minus 2 times 2. So, sa gem dust natin, di ba, ang uunahin natin is division and multiplication or multiplication and division. And as you can see, nauna si division kaysa sa kay multiplication, yun yung sinasabi natin from left to right. It doesn't matter kung um, we have GEM, DAS, pwedeng magkabaliktad si multiplication and division depende sa expression. So, dahil nga ito yung uunahit natin, si 12 divided by 4, kasi nauna si division kay multiplication and hindi naman natin pwedeng unahin si addition, tama? Kasi panghuli pa silang dalawa ni subtraction, di ba? So, we have to copy 20 dahil hindi pa naman natin siya isosolve. So, we have 12 divided by 4 is positive 3 Ayan. And then, copy lang natin ulit. Ayan. So, para hindi tayo malito. And then, text, ganun lang. Followed lang ulit. Ayan. So, copy. And then, meron pa tayong natin multiplication and multiplication. Pwede na natin tong dalawa na to na pagsabayin. 
Okay, so copy lang ulit natin si 20. Plus, 3 times 3 is 9. Minus, 2 times 2 is 4. So, pinagsabay na natin yon Pero, kung na medyo nalilito pa kayo, wag nyo silang pagsabayan. Pwede nyo ulit silang i-copy. Okay? Plus 10. And then, right after that, what are we going to do? Is, syempre, dahil nga meron pa tayong brackets, ganun pa rin, same process. So, 36 minus 2. So, we have 20 plus 9 minus 4. So, dahil nga nauna si addition and sa gem das, addition talaga yung nauna before subtraction. Pero it doesn't matter, basta left to right. Kung nauna naman itong minus kesa sa plus, minus yung una yung natin gawin. Pero dahil nauna si addition, we have to add 20 plus 9. So, we have 29 minus 4 plus 10. And then, little by little, masasolve yun na siya. So, 36 minus 2 times 29 minus 4 is 25 plus 10. Okay? So, as you can see, we have 36 minus 2 times 25 plus 10. Um, dahil nga na-solve na natin ito from this to this, nakuha natin yung sagot dun sa may parentheses or dun sa may brackets, ang gagawin na natin dyan is, syempre, meron na tayong tatlong operation in here. Subtract, multiply, and add. And since we have the gem dust, grouping, exponent, multiplication before addition and subtraction. So, what are we going to do is to multiply first. So, we have to copy 36 minus 2 times 25 is 50 plus 10. Alright. Then, ito na. We have, di ba, from GEMDAS, sa dulo niya, addition and subtraction, di ba? G-E-M-D-A-S. Addition and subtraction. And as you can see, now na si subtraction kay addition yun yung sinasabi nating left we have 36 minus 50 we have negative 14 since dapat alam nyo kung paano mag-solve ng integers negative and positive integers okay enable for you to solve order of operations very clear or very well right then plus 10 so we have negative 4 plus 10 as you can see magkaiba na yung sign nila what are you going to do is that to subtract. Kasi sa rule of integers natin, um, unlike sign, subtract and then copy the sign of the higher number. So the answer is 4. And since the higher number is 14 and it is negative, so the answer is negative 4. Alright, so ganun lang siya. Kasimple, isa-isahin, step by step, makukuha nyo yung tamang sagot. For the next example, we have 9 squared plus 3 times 9 minus 5 squared over 4. So, what are we going to do is to solve this using the GEMDAS rule, right? And, ano ba yung sinasabi sa GEMDAS rule? Um, yung unang letter, which is the G, it says that kailangan natin i-operate first yung grouping involving the parentheses or brackets. And, in example number 2, meron ba kayo nakikitang um, groupings? Yes, meron. This one, 9 minus 5 squared. So, we have 9 squared plus 3 times 9 minus 5 is equal to 4 squared over 4. Alright? And the next thing to do is, of course, after G, we have E, which is the exponent. We have 9 squared and 4 squared. We have 9 squared or 9 times 9 is equal to 81 plus 3 times 4 squared or 4 times 4 is equal to 16 over 4 or divided by 4. So, next thing to do, dahil addition, multiplication, and division na lang yung ating natitirang operations, after the exponent doon sa ating gemdas, what would be next? It is the multiplication, right? And then, dahil multiplication ang next, or nauna din talaga si multiplication kay division, meaning to say, multiplication yung unay natin. We have 81 plus 3 times 16, this equal to 48, right? And then, divided by 4. And then, after that, next thing to do is tingnan ano na lang yung operations meron. We have addition and division. And, syempre, sa ating gem dust, nauna si division kesa kay addition. So, what are we going to do is to divide first before we add. Tama? So, we copy 81 and then plus 48 divided by 4 is equal to 12. And then, yan, isa na lang siya, addition na lang. 
And then we have to add it. 81 plus 12 is equal to 93. So 93 is the correct answer. So ganun lang kasimple ang pagsunod sa rules ng GEMDAS. Okay? And now let's move on to our next example. We have 6 divided by 2 times 1 plus 2. Remember, a parenthesis, it says a multiplication, right? And meron tayong tatlong operations, division, multiplication, and addition. So, ang gagamitin natin is the GEMDAS rule, which is the first letter, or the G, says grouping, right? So, as you can see, meron tayong grouping, which is itong 1 plus 2 na sa parenthesis. Ibig sabihin, uunahin muna natin siya, no? It doesn't matter kung ano yung operation, basta nandun siya sa grouping, siya yung uunahin natin. Alright? So, we have 6 divided by 2 times 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Okay. After that, since nakita na natin na division and multiplication na lamang yung operation natin, so what are we going to do is, tingnan natin ulit yung GEMDAS. G-E-M-D- AS. Ibig sabihin, after the grouping and exponent, multiplication and division. And remember, sinabi ko kanina na sa ating multiplication and division, always left to right. Kung sinong nauna sa dalawa, yun yung i-operate natin. Kahit na multiplication yung nandoon sa ating GEMDAS. Sa first, kay division. Tama? So, dahil nga si division ang nauna kay multiplication, perform natin first si division kesa kay multiplication. Huwag kayong malilito, no? So, 6 divided by 2 is 3 times 3. Alright? And then, right after that, multiply na natin. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. So, the answer is 9. Alright? For the next example, we have 8 times 2 plus 3 minus 10 divided by 5 plus 6 minus 3 times 4. So, di ba, napakarami niya. Pero, dahil nga meron tayong GEMDAS rule, masasolve natin siya ng maayos. Okay? So, tingnan natin, meron ba tayong groupings, which is the G? Wala. Exponent, wala din. Next is the multiplication, right? And as you can see, nauna talaga si multiplication dito, before the division, and another multiplication again. So, pwede na natin silang i-perform um, sabay-sabay dahil magkakalayo naman sila. Basta wag lang muna natin galawin si addition and subtraction since una naman si multiplication and division sa kanilang dalawa. Tama? So, we have 8 times 2 is equal to 16 plus 3 and then we have minus 10 divided by 5. Pwede nyo na din silang i-perform kasi after the multiplication is the division. Right? Basta yung addition and subtraction, save it for later. Alright? So, 10 divided by 5 is 2. Ayan, addition. So, copy lang ulit. 6 minus 3 times 4 is equal to 12. So, ipinerform na din natin siya since multiplication naman siya. And as you can see, natira na lang si addition and subtraction. So, same process lang din. First come, first serve kay addition and subtraction. And, dahil nga si addition ang naon na talaga, so we have to add this first. So, 16 plus 3 is equal to 19 minus 2 plus 6 minus 12. Okay? And then, so same process, dahil ngayon ay meron tayong subtraction, addition, naon na si subtraction. And, we have first come first serve or left to right kay addition and subtraction, kagaya din ng multiplication and division. So, we have 19 minus 2 is equal to 17 plus 6 minus 12. Alright? And then, same process again. You add it and then subtract. So, 17 plus 6 is equal to 23 minus 12. So, the answer is 23 minus 12 is 11. So, yan na yung tamang sagot. Alright? So, ganun lang kasimple. Step by step lang. And... Para hindi kayo malito, pwede nyong isa-isahin, pwede nyong hindi pagsabay-sabayan, pwede din namang pagsabay-sabayan. So, ang tinuturo ko is yung step-by-step step or kung paano kayo mas madaling makakapag-solve. And for our last example, we have 18 divided by 6 times 5 minus 14 divided by 7. Same process, gagamitin lang ulit natin si GEMDAS or G-E-M-D-A-S. So, we have to perform first. 
um, the grouping symbols. And the silk and seam meron tayong groupings dito. Merong parentheses which involve division and multiplication. So, sila yung ipe-perform natin first bago itong nasa labas. Alright? So, we have 8 in divided by 6 is equal to 3 times 5 minus 14 divided by 7. So, ito pwede nyo siyang ituloy. Like, 18 divided by 6 then 3 times 5 is 15. Pwedeng 15 na yung ilagay nyo dito and pwede din namang um, step by step or hanggang sa makuha nyo lang yung sagot. So, pwede yun. And as long as sinusunod nyo yung gem dust, ganun lang kasimple ang mag-solve. So, we have 3 times 5 is 15 minus 14 divided by 7. Ayan. So, dahil na-perform na natin yung nasa parenthesis, wala ng parenthesis, and sundin ulit natin yung gem dust. We have subtraction and division. And as you can see, sa gem dust natin, nauna si division kaysa kay subtraction. Tama? So, meaning to say, magdi-divide tayo first before we subtract. So, we have 15 minus 14 divided by 7 is equal to 2. So, we have to subtract na. So, 15 minus 2 is equal to 13 and that is the final answer. Okay? So, napakadali lang. Basta kabisado nyo lang yung gem dust or G for grouping symbols involving the parentheses or brackets, E for exponent, the powers and square roots, M for multiplication, and D for division, left to right, first come, first serve. Okay? Depende sa order of operation sa given. And then, we have sa ating last addition, and then subtraction, left to right again. Basta magka-partner lang sila palagi. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Palagi nilang tatandaan, first come, first serve, pagdating sa given. Okay? I hope you have learned something from this video. If you do, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and of course, share this to your friends. And patuloy niyo pa supportahan ang channel ni Ma'am Muriel. Thank you so much everyone, and God bless us all. Music